Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Let's get started this morning with some health news. Bouncing back from COVID-19, Governor Steve Sisolak made a major announcement of hoping to reopen the state to 100% capacity. Review Journal's Jen Ah has those details. Good morning, Jen. Good morning to you, Renee. Here are some important dates for folks to remember. Starting on May 1st, the governor says Nevada will lift all statewide social distancing mandates. This doesn't include mask mandates, however. Then, starting on June 1st, the goal is to reopen the entire state with 100% capacity. Open our economy back up. I mean, I need to get conventions, I need to get events coming back into town, into the state. I need to get people back to work as a result of those. And I think these uh, openings are gonna make that a lot more realistic. The plan to transition authority to local government starting in May remains in place. Meanwhile, the Gaming Control Board will continue to maintain authority over gaming areas. Renee? We continue now with our top story sponsored by Carnegie Heights. After nearly a quarter century, could a passenger train service return to Las Vegas? Well, this $2 trillion infrastructure bill backed by President Joe Biden would finance a new Amtrak route between Vegas and Los Angeles. This link would be a part of a $30 billion set of projects from Amtrak, possibly creating around 550,000 jobs across the country. Officials say they hope a train link will help alleviate congestion along Interstate 15. The son of Oklahoma City bomber Terry Nichols has been arrested again in Las Vegas. Joshua Nichols was booked Monday at the Clark County Detention Center. Police say he cut off an electronic monitor bracelet he was wearing as he waits to be tried for kidnapping and robbery charges. Joshua Nichols has been arrested multiple times in the Valley. In 2009, he pleaded guilty to stealing a motorcycle. His father, Terry Nichols, is serving a life sentence for his role in the 1995 bombing in Oklahoma City. A team of students at UNLV is building a solar-powered home as part of a federal competition. UNLV is one of nine finalists in the Energy Department Solar Decathlon Build Challenge. The students have named the home Mojave Bloom. It is designed for veterans suffering from PTSD or traumatic brain injury. After it is finished, it will be a gathering place for volunteers at the Storytelling Garden in the Arts District. The purpose of this is not only to design for a specific person, but also to encourage people to um, develop homes that are more energy efficient. A grandfather is being charged in the death of a North Las Vegas girl who police believe was shot by her two-year-old brother. A warrant was issued for David Walter Johnson II on child abuse charges. His six-year-old granddaughter died from a gunshot wound in November. Two Las Vegas youngsters saw their peers struggling with their mental health and decided to do something about it. Ayana Castro and Bella Hawkins created the A&B Bike Spring Fling to collect bikes and tricycles for area children and teens. I've always loved helping the community, so any way that I can give back, I always love doing. And it's just a nice feeling to know that I can help the community in any way, shape or form. I feel like a lot of people don't realize how severe mental health in kids can get because even I personally have struggled from mental health issues during the pandemic. And I feel like this being born out of something that can be solved with something as simple as a bike is what makes it unique. Now let's take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. Freezy conditions sticking around this week, and that is bringing cooler temperatures to the valley. Today, sunny skies with a high of near 77 degrees. Wind gusts could get as high as 23 miles per hour. Clear skies for your evening, breezy lows in the mid-50s. For the rest of the week, winds will gradually die down. Sunny skies forecasted with temps in the upper 70s. Lows in the upper 50s should reach the 80s by the weekend. We're proud to be providing 7 at 7 to you on YouTube. Thank you for watching and don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe down below. In your entertainment news, sponsored by discoveryournevada.com. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. The LVCVA is sponsoring a series of sporting events at Allegiant Stadium, spending nearly $9 million in total. 
Board members authorized $475,000 for the finals of soccer's CONCACAF Gold Cup tournament in August. The event brings together national teams from North and Central America and the Caribbean. The LVCVA has also said it will sponsor college football's Las Vegas Bowl at Allegiant for the next five seasons, spending at least $1.6 million. Sports, sponsored by Scenic Brewing Company. The Las Vegas Aces schedule was released Tuesday, and they will face an early test when they open their season May 15th and 18th in Seattle against the defending champion Storm. Seattle swept the Aces in three games in last year's WNBA Finals, but Las Vegas returns two former All-Stars who did not play last season in Liz Cambage and Kelsey Plum. The Aces' home opener is May 21st against the Los Angeles Sparks. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden Knights are minus 190 favorites tonight as they go for their second straight victory against the Kings in Los Angeles and their fourth straight win overall. The Kings are plus 170 at the Westgate. The total is five and a half. The Knights are plus 130 to cover the minus one and a half puck line. Vegas defeated the Kings four to two on Monday as a minus 175 favorite. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, this week's Las Vegas Market Trade Show signals the return of the lucrative convention business to the city. A local chef, Natalie Young, is one of the small business owners reaping the benefits. She's serving hungry convention goers to her restaurant Old Soul at World Market Center. I opened Old Soul about two years ago on Valentine's Day. And uh, once we did about four or five markets, I, they gave me an invitation to come here and be here permanently, which is uh, the World Market's a great partner, so I really enjoy being here. Well, that's all for today's 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. Look, we know that you're busy, and so we built this newscast to fit your life, and we bring it to you weekdays at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. on LVRJ.com. You can also download our free RJ mobile app, and you can also see us on Twitter, Roku, and so much more. We hope you'll join us again this evening for 7 at 7 p.m. Thank you for watching. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.